Hey y'all, this is a quick tutorial on how to keep your DJI Assistant 2 software up to date. Um, if it's something you do on a regular basis uh, and it's just part of your SOPs, then this video is not for you. Uh, you should probably just turn it off because you'll be bored. Um, but this is for those that, that are not familiar with it. Maybe they had someone initially set it up. Uh, what we're finding is there's a lot of municipalities out there. Uh, they they go and they have it part of their SOPs to update their firmware, but they don't check for an updated software. Uh, so this is to this should be part of your firmware check, and uh, this hopefully this tutorial will help you out on keeping that up to date. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna show you the same process that I use whenever I check. I check about on a weekly basis usually uh, if I'm not on vacation and. This is what I do. So I will launch uh, the I want first thing I want to know is what version of the software I have. So you can see first of all, let me let me start off with this. You can see how I've got three versions of the DJI system. DJI recently had, uh, fairly recently did this where for different platforms, they have different versions of the DJI system. They kind of separate it out. So this one's obviously for the Phantom. This one that really doesn't say is for the Mavic, Mavic Air, and the one for Matrice, uh, that is for the M200 and M210, in my case, the M210. So for today's little quick tutorial, I'm gonna sh pretend that my M210 uh, is, go I'm going to do an update. I'm gonna show you how I check it. Okay, so first thing I would do is launch the Assistant software, okay? What you'll notice shortly after you launch it is down here in the bottom right corner, there's a version number. This says version V2.0.0, okay? And I wanna know if that's up to date. Now, one thing you won't find uh, is that, that DJI won't send emails or tell you there's an updated version that pops up here. I wish they would, uh, but that's out of my control. Um, and so maybe in the future, they'll do that for us. But for now, it's up to you to go out and check. Okay, so how do you check? You go out to dji.com and what you have to, first step one will be, you need to know the platform you're checking on. Okay, so in consumer up here, uh, we have the Mavic Air, Mavic Pro, Spark, if you're flying a Phantom, they're here, all right, that's in consumer. Uh, most of public safety is not flying Inspire 2, but if that happens to be you, uh, there's your Inspire. And in this case, because it is an M210 that I'm looking to update, I see the Matrice 200 series right down here. So I'm going to click on that. All right, now you usually get this splash screen that shows you the nice product, and then you start scrolling down just a little bit. And on this white line, you'll see downloads, and that's the link that you're interested in. So you'll click on that. Okay, on here, it'll show you, for that particular platform, the updates that are available. Okay, so say for instance, not on the aircraft, but this is a camera firmware, and there is a, a uh, XT firmware down here that was updated on uh, March 30th, and then there's a Z30 that was January 22nd of this year. Um, I'm current on all those, I know that, uh, so I don't have to worry about that. This again, this is for the Assistant 2. This is what I wanna check, okay? So there was an update July 6th and the version 2.0.4. Now if we remember, we go back here, I'm on version 2.0.0, right? So I need to update. So how do I update it? I'm going to click on that EXE, all right? Now for the interest of this tutorial, and you should thank me for this. I've already downloaded it, okay? And you can see that right here, I have the DJI Assistant for the Matrice 204, all right? So in my case, I'm gonna click cancel. In your case, you would click save, and then you would watch the download, and the download progress is usually down here or on a little pop-up window, okay? Um, the other thing you'll wanna remember is where you saved it to. You can change wherever you're saving it to. In this case, it's downloads, DJI updates. Okay, this is on a Windows 10 computer, okay? So, again, I'm gonna click cancel, you click save, and then it would have downloaded it, and once we're done downloading it, we can close the internet window. Um, and we can also, we know that we have to update, so we can close this. We don't need this old version of DJI Assistant, okay? Now, to do this thoroughly and completely, you'll wanna uninstall the old version before you install the new version, all right? 
So to do that, again, that's a Windows 10 computer. Um, down here, I can click, I can start typing remove down in this bottom window and this add remove. If you're running an older version of Windows, you may have to launch the um, control panel and go that way. All right, so now once we have this installing, add removing apps, I scroll down until I find uh, DJI Assistant 2 for Matrice, right? And I'm going to uninstall it. All right, and one of the things you'll find is do you want to remove all of its components? And you click yes, because that's again, cleaning it all out so that you don't have any bad data in there. So now I have successfully uninstalled the old version. You can see it's no longer on my desktop. So now I'm gonna to navigate to where I downloaded it. Remember it was downloads, DJI updates, okay? And then there it is right here, 204. And I'm going to install it. I'm gonna accept the agreement. And yes, I want a desktop uh, shortcut on my desktop. And I'm going to install it. Okay, in this case it says launch. I'm not gonna launch it uh, for this video. The one last thing I wanna show you is, you'll notice that it still only shows three. Windows likes to move stuff and just put the icon wherever they want to. Uh, in this case, it's way up here. I'm going to click on it and drag it down to where I'm familiar with it, where it was before, okay? Uh, so that's it, and again, this should be part of probably a weekly maintenance routine. You can do it more often if you like. It doesn't hurt. You do it every day. You do it 10 times a day. It doesn't hurt to check, uh, but it definitely needs to be part of it because the consequences for you not having up-to-date DJI Assistant software is that the software is updated so that it can properly install the firmware updates. Uh, otherwise, it won't even list them as an option often, and that means that uh, you have old firmware even though you may not be aware of it. All right. Hopefully this helps out everybody uh, that is looking for this and we'll talk to you later. Bye.